Hi, Catherine. Hi. Welcome to the morning show. Hi, Catherine. Hi. Catherine, lovely to see you. Thank Do you know you. before you came along, I wasn't really interested in this sort of music. I thought a soprano was a gangster in New York. <laughs> um, you've become the fastest selling soprano of all time. How does that resonate with you? How does that feel? Um, it's completely unbelievable, really, because, you know, I come from a small town in, in Wales, and I never thought all this was going to happen to me, but, of course, I'm enjoying it. Yeah. How did you discover that you had such a voice? Because you've been singing since you were four years yes. old. Um, well, I learned to sing in church, and I entered a competition called Quiet Good of the Year when I was ten, and yeah. that was my first ever achievement. And then I went on to study at the Royal Academy of Music, and when I left there, I, I got offered a six-album record deal. Totally by chance. Wow. <laughs> wow. I know. Not many 29-year-olds have written an autobiography. No. <laughs> um, I guess it's not a lot to remember. You don't have to go back that far when you start <laughs> writing that, right? Why did you decide to do that? Well, um, you know, I feel like I've packed a lot in um, yeah. to my... I did it when I was 27, actually. Uh, I was getting a lot of letters from people wanting to know how... Did the, how did I get my break in the, mm. in the music business? Mm. And also, I talked about losing my dad um, to cancer and how I got through that. And it's it's the first part. I'm going to write another part in another 20. Well, you've got to update years. it every couple yeah. of years now. Right? <laughs> no, there'll be lots more chapters. Don't worry about that. You've worked with some of the world's best classical singers, but we hear you're a bit of a Kylie Minogue fan. Oh, one I'm of a our huge. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a huge Kylie fan. And I actually got um, I sang on the X Factor final that Kylie was singing on as mm. well, and I got to meet her. But whenever I'm getting ready um, backstage, I always play Kylie Minogue greatest hits. So I told her that when Is I met right? her. Yeah, nobody ever expects it, you know, even in an opera house. Oh. Have, you ever, have you ever covered one of her songs? Is that something I you could do? I haven't, but I should do. Should I would you? love to hear you do Locomotion. <laughs> oh, I would love that. Hey, great to meet you. Thanks for staying Thank for you. Thanks for, us. Thank for you having me. Much. Yeah. Beautiful sound. Catherine Jenkins' new album is Believe. And, of course, it's in stores for you right now. Great Chrissy present. Still to come for you, controversial.